excited about life today. And the reason I'm so excited is because with each new day comes new opportunities to pursue our goals and to reach our goals and to know that we have been successful in a plan that we put together. You know, it's not unusual for us to make our goals and somewhere along the way become discouraged. And basically, to be discouraged means that you're disheartened. In other words, you lose sight of the success that you believe that you can have. You know, you have to believe in your plan. And if your plan does not look as though it's going to get you to your destination, then make some changes, make some corrections, help your plan to help you. And the way you do that is to constantly review your progress. Each day we should look at our goals and we should read them aloud. And the reason we should read them aloud is because it is so easy to become disheartened. It's so uh, easy for us to look around and to look for reasons why we will fail. I'm here today to tell you that in order for you to reach your goals today, you must persevere. And in order to persevere, it basically means that you have to continue steadfastly in what it is you said you want to achieve. Continue, meaning that even when you feel discouraged, even when you see the various situations around you not lining up, with where you'd hope they would be at this time, that with a few corrections, you can continue your perseverance. But you must persevere. Courage is basically one of the key elements to success. Because courage means that you must be bold. You must be bold in your goals, and you must be bold to reach beyond yourself. And when you do that, it means that you are going to achieve things bigger than yourself at this time. And when you get to that point of success, you'll write out a new set of goals and you'll reach even further. And that staircase will continue to go higher and higher and higher, but not without perseverance. Perseverance means you have to stay the course. You can't quit. One of the things my mom used to tell me when I was a young girl was she would say, Eunice, never be a quitter. Don't be a quitter on your dreams. Don't be a quitter on the things you said that you want to accomplish. Don't be a quitter on the talents and skills that you've been given. In other words, embrace those talents, embrace those skills, and look for resources to enhance them that you might be able to accomplish the things that you are capable of accomplishing today, tomorrow, and throughout your future. I used to get really, really discouraged because my dreams were big dreams and I just didn't see how those dreams could come to pass. And I used to daydream a lot and find myself in areas and patches of imagination. And when I would be brought back to uh, the present, I would think, wow, it's a whole lot more fun imagining here than it is to deal with reality here. And you know what? I found that those daydreams were really the makings of the dreams that I would someday put my hand, my foot, my heart, and everything that was within me, my mindset, to achieve and to acquire and to be able to share with others and encourage others that just like I had pursued my dreams, they can do the same. But you cannot pursue anything if you quit. If you take a cake out of the oven before it's completed its baking process, who can eat it? Who can enjoy it? No one. Actually, it's ready for the trash. Well, your dreams are not ready for the trash. And your hopes are not ready for the trash. And your future is not ready for the trash. But you are ready for great and mighty treasures of things to come. But you first must determine that I won't quit on myself. 
I won't quit on my dreams, and I will believe that I can achieve. In perseverance, you must be able to measure your progress. If you cannot measure your progress, then it means it was not specific enough to you to know where you were supposed to be today in that goal. And if you can measure that progress, then you should pat yourself on the back and give yourself a jolly good hug and say, hey, I did a great job today. And tomorrow, this is what I'm going to accomplish. These are the tools I will need. And you make sure that you pack your tool chest accordingly. And then, when you continue that measurement for the following day and you see that you've achieved again another uh, measure of success, then continue on. So this is Eunice Phelps from Orlando, Florida, wishing you the courage and the perseverance to reach your goals in life. an opportunity to meet with you through the YouTube video blog has been such a pleasure for me. I have enjoyed the opportunity of helping you and hopefully some of the things that I'm sharing with you are making a big difference in your life and in your dreams and in your good success. Today I want to ask you to please continue to meet with me each day through our video blog and if you'd like to contact me I'd like to give you my email, and my email is e-u-n-i-c-e-p-h-d at c-f-l dot r-r dot com. And I will respond back to you in any comments that you'd like to leave on any of the videos that uh, are presented. Please don't hesitate. I'll be happy to comment on that as well. In the meantime, say hello to Sushi. My Maltese, he has been such a precious little blessing to me.